Welcome in the second section of our deep learning in Spark. In this section, we will do a setup of our environment and we will try to fetch dependencies for Spark and deep learning as well. So here is a section up and running with the Spark environment for performing deep learning. We'll take a look at the prerequisite and installation of your environment. We will be doing up and running with deep learning for j on Spark. You will perform a configuration. And finally, also, we will be looking at the different solution. So we will compare deep learning for j with TensorFlow. Both technologies integrate with Spark very well, but have different APIs. And also, for a better contrast, we will use deep learning for j from Scala and Tensor from Python language. So we'll be up and running with TensorFlow on Spark from Yahoo. And here is the first video in which we will do prerequisites and installation. So firstly, we'll start from understanding data set that will be used in couple examples in this course. Next, we will understand we want to achieve with neural network. And finally, we'll be adding deep learning for j to application. We'll be using the MNIST database. That is an open source and free database of 110 digits. It is used in multiple examples from deep learning world because this is a really great database to examine and train your models. It has a training set of 60,000 examples and test sets of 10,000 examples. So we can validate using that test set. It is a subset of a larger set available from NIST. So if you want to have more data, you can go to that page and download full data set. Very important for our algorithms is that the digits are normalized by size, so width and height. Every digit is at the center of the image, so for this is simpler for our deep learning network, and every image has the same size. It is very good for prototyping and training deep learning algorithms. So let's recap what you want to achieve. You want to build neural network that automatically infer feature from release data. As the result of training, we should assign every input image to one of 10 clusters. We are configuring our neural network to have 10 clusters. When you are starting a new project from the deep learning world, you need to add a lot of dependencies, or not maybe a lot, it depends how you look at it. You need to add resolvers to Sonatype snapshots and staging repositories. Next, we are using a Scala dependency. We are using HTTP clients to fetch some data. And finally, we are importing Spark. We are interested in core and machine learning library from Spark. Once we have that, we need to add deep learning dependency that is deep learning for J deep learning Spark because we want to have integration with Spark out of the box. We don't want to write components that are responsible for integration. Also, we are ND4J API, but we will be looking into this more in next videos. Also, we want to have some kind of type C dependency for config here and Scala test. Scala test is a framework that will be used in our test in this specific course. We want to use a JUnit as well for some integration with Java world. 